Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 13th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the famous or the very infamous font tag in HTML and the reason why I say that it is infamous is because uh, you know people don't use the font tag to do anything now you know they just use CSS but anyway this is a very uh, interesting and a very powerful tag and using this you can do a lot of things in in HTML so and it's still supported it's a deprecated tag but it's still supported so uh, anyway uh, let's just get on with this tutorial and see how you can use the font tag to increase the size or increase or decrease the size of text uh, in your documents, how you can change the color of text and uh, you know how you can also change the font style. Right? So you can do all this using just the font tag. So uh, in this document on line number one I have the doc type declaration, on line number two I have the opening HTML tag, on line number 12 I have the closing HTML tag. So all my uh, tags and text and everything else is between uh, you know line number two and line number 12 and in the head section between the opening and closing title tags I have all about fonts as the title of the web page in the body section I have uh, four paragraphs actually you know this is the first paragraph and then uh, this is the second paragraph and uh, this is the third paragraph and then on line number 10 I have the fourth paragraph right so let me show you guys this file in uh, Google Chrome before explaining, uh, you know, the effects that I've tried to um, accomplish, right? So this is how the file looks. Um, you have the world uh, as the first sentence in the web page. Then you have is getting as the next sentence. And you can make out that this sentence is smaller than the first sentence. So obviously, you know, their font size are different. And this one is also orange in color, whereas the first sentence is black in color. And then uh, you also have uh, another word as uh, another paragraph bigger, which is much bigger than the previous two sentences. And then you have, uh, you know, another uh, sentence with the words and better. And this one has a different font style as well. So now let's check out the HTML behind the page and see what we have. So. In the body section on line number seven, I have uh, the font tag, which is F-O-N-T between the uh, less than symbol and the greater than symbol. And then to set the size of text to four, I have used the size attribute of the font element, the font tag, right? And I've set its value to four. So it's very simple, you know, just as you uh, do with meta tags, you have to first get in the name of your tag, which is font give a space, get the name of the attribute, the property or the value of which you want to set. And uh, then you use the assignment operator or the equal to symbol. And within double quotes, you type in the value. So you want to set the size of the font to four, you just type in four here. And uh, then I've used the P tag to get the text, the word, right? And you close the font tag just the way you close all the other tags in HTML slash and then font. On the next line, on line number eight, I have the font tag again. And this time I've used the color attribute of the font tag to set uh, you know, the color of the text to orange. So I have used the word orange here as the value of the color attribute. And again, I have the opening and closing paragraph tag uh, for the text is getting. And then on line number nine, I have the font tag again. And this time I have set the size to seven. And uh, you know, between the opening and closing paragraph tags, I have the text bigger. And on line number 10, I have the, um, you know, font tag again. And this time I have changed the size of the font uh, to seven. I've changed the size of the text and I've also changed the font style. So I've changed it to Comic Sans MS. This is my favorite font style. And uh, then I have the paragraph tag tags and in between the tags, I have the text and better. And of course, I've closed my font tag, right? So this is how the file looks when you, uh, you know, run it in uh, Google Chrome and I'm sure it would look similar if you run it in other browsers too. I haven't tested this one actually. I should have done that. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys do it. And, uh, you know, that's it for this tutorial. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll discuss uh, more HTML tags and more features. And um, that's it. Take care.